I'm happy to get it started. Um, Dono, you first. Um, just can you take us through that sort of last two or three minutes? I think that was that might have been one of your lone touches, if not the lone touch, but the most important one. Can you just describe that feeling, sort of kicking that winning penalty to win a game? Yeah, um, yeah, it was interesting. Obviously, the sitting on the bench for 76, 77 minutes um, was freezing. Um, I think I was still shivering when I got out there, so it was uh, it was an interesting couple of minutes, but. Um, like I've said it before, when you come off the bench, you have a you know you have a role to play, and um, you, you only get minimal touches or minimal involvement. So you need to take them um, as they come. And um, yeah, I'm just I was just lucky that I got a kick, and it was uh, nice and close to the post. And um, yeah, lucky it went over. There seemed to be some conjecture around whether that was the last play or whether they'd have a restart. From your sort of conversations with the referee and Harry and I guess any other leader on the field, is that the understanding of that was the final play or even when you kicked it over, were you not sure of if there was going to be a restart or not? Yeah, no, we, we knew that it would be over. Um, the ref said once Harry had decided that we were taking the points, we, had, we then had a minute um, to kick the goal. And by then I think <coughs> it was, uh, there was 50 or 45 seconds to go. So... The ref told us that once Harry um, decided to go for the points, if I ran the clock down, um, the game would be over. So, um, yeah, I did my best to run the clock down and, um, yeah, the game was over. I guess past Wallaby squads, over the last, even last 12 months, you look at the Argentina fixture last year, that game in Dunedin, those close wins haven't really gone your way. Can you speak to the confidence that you're already feeling right now, just finding a way to come back from behind, you know, conceding, so trying for most of the game and coming away with a win in tough conditions? Yeah, obviously it's um, you know builds great confidence. Any any win away from home is a massive one, um, let alone in Argentina. You know they were World Cup semi finalists. Um, you know they're I think ranked six in the world at the moment, so they've got a great squad, great coach. Um, and yeah, you know uh, to to win a game like that, a scrappy game in those weather conditions, um, will give the boys great confidence going into this week. As Matt, for yourself, uh, from a defensive performance, like I think four out of your starting eight forwards, including yourself, made double digit tackles without missing. That defensive side of the ball, how much has that been to work on of sort of this campaign? And I guess what do you think sort of clicks to really sort of have that impact where you're driving them back constantly throughout that 80 minutes? Yeah, I think um, there's been definitely a joined effort to um, sort of focus on the defensive side of the ball for us the last couple of weeks. Um, and, mate, in terms of those stats, like, it, it doesn't really mean much to me. For us, it's all about that team performance. And yeah, I think as a team, we did um, scramble defence well. They made a few good line breaks, particularly off kick return and stuff like that. But um, our ability to sort of make those covering tackles and then get our D-line set as quick as possible was, for me, really good to see. Um, and, and it's an area that we want to continue to grow. Um, I think a lot of experienced players over the years always say that defence sort of wins titles. And uh, I, I think any a hallmark of any good team that goes deep into uh, rugby championships, World Cups, any sort of comp, they, they have a good defence. Hey, Matt, um, can you talk about coming up against uh, some of those Pumas hookers? And um, obviously, I, I think you were already off when Creevy came on, but his last test, but also uh, Montoya. They're two of the better hookers worldwide. What, what do you, what's it like? coming up against those guys in Argentinian conditions? Yeah, um, just a quick one on Creevy, obviously. Um, he, he's played for a ridiculous amount of time at the at the highest level. He's been an awesome servant to Argentina over the years and um, world rugby in general. So just a quick tip of the hat to him. He's um, had an exceptional career. Wish him all the best post-career. Um, and then uh, on Montoya, he's obviously um, their captain. He, he's a physical player, dynamic. He's got... Uh, rock solid set piece so um, for me sort of a bit more inexperienced player than him it was awesome to sort of clash heads with him on the weekend particularly at scrum time um, Argy's a sort of known uh, to be quite good scrummager so uh, for me it was also a great test but um, also something that we um, we had to meet them fire with fire with to sort of help the team out and a two-parter um, from a line-out perspective given the conditions that operated extremely well the line out set piece you must be stoked with that um, but it also with Brendan Payne Ramosa coming in uh, his experience his quality it, it adds to the competition so can you talk about both the success of the weekend but how much confidence you get out of that particularly when there's more competitiveness perhaps in the in the uh, hooking stocks 
Yeah, um, obviously the weekend's conditions were nightmarish for a hooker. You wake up in cold sweats if they're the conditions, mate. The, the breeze was swirling, super inconsistent, rain the whole time. So uh, you pretty much couldn't get worse than that. So it was nice to sort of get some decent outcomes there. But having said that, um, it's still not where we want it to be. Um, and then just on the um, competition for spots, it's been quite fierce the whole time, in my opinion. Uh, Nass and Billy early on with the Wales test, um, there, there wasn't really a consistent player picked for those. And um, with Beeps coming in, he's a legend of a bloke. I was lucky enough to sort of be his understudy a little bit, sort of like five years ago, six years ago when he was at the Reds and I was still sort of just on training trials and stuff. Um, so yeah, he, he, he's an absolute legend and a quality player, obviously coming off the back of playing in France. So um, yeah, mate, competition's fierce and it makes for a good training environment, I think. I'm sure you'll be um, telling Joe how difficult those conditions were <laughs> given your um, your form on the weekend. But what, what have you... I, I imagine you haven't had a review just yet because it's first thing Monday morning in, in Argentina. Um, but how was the Sunday? How was it shared? And just what's the camaraderie like within the group when you get away on tour and you have a, a, some success and there was some talk of getting to the horse races and so forth? Uh, no, I didn't end up doing that. Um, but yeah, Sunday was basically just a recovery day. Um, watch your individual game. A few of the boys um, went out for lunch together. Um, and yeah, it, pretty pretty low key. Basically, the main focus was just getting the body right. Uh, it was a, it was a really physical game. So in the ice bath, in the sauna, all that sort of stuff, which you probably think might be boring. But yeah, uh, a lot of the boys here live in that sauna downstairs. So got a decent workout yesterday. Matt, um, can I just ask you one about stats? When you said like the tackle, tackle and stats don't really mean that much, but um, I think at one stage in attack that you guys uh, recycled, like we went through like twenty seven phases, and I, I suppose at the end of the day, you didn't, didn't score off it, but just being able to handle the ball as well as you did in those conditions, I mean, how much of, has that been a focus in terms of improving the handling, like right across the park? Yeah, Joe, uh, Joe's really big on the basics, so ball carry looking after the ball and primary support arriving early. So, uh, yeah, for us, definitely really rewarding to see. We've um, sort of been focusing a lot about that on training and um, looking after our ball and retaining possession when we have it. So, yeah, that's really rewarding to see, but also um, a credit to Argentina's defence. Not many teams can defend 27 phases without a line break. So, yeah, it goes to sort of the quality of them as well. And um, I mean, as Christy mentioned about the, the line out and the, I mean, the pack as a whole worked really well. Um, having like Nella come back in and he'd had a couple of weeks out and that, but like he put in a big shift as well. And I mean, the whole, the whole front row, you must have been delighted with the way you guys went. You all kind of, you know, did your job and then some. Yeah, yeah. I think um, the, the guys up front definitely added value in different areas. Belly's obviously an awesome carrier, Nella. And Alan, um, we, we're great at scrum time and they've got a really good pack, so tight ends have the work cut out for them in that respect. Um, yeah, I think everyone sort of added value when they came on or if they started, it was, yeah, it was a good team effort. And just one for Ben, following on from what Nath said, when you have that opportunity or when the pressure's on you like to win a game like that, I mean, did you have a moment where you went back to that Italy game. The kicks were obviously different, like way different, and all, but that when you, you know, you've got that, that pressure to, to win a game, I suppose. Um, no, I didn't go back to the Italy game. Um, yeah, like there's always pressure in those moments. Um, they're, they're, they're big moments, you know, in test match footy. And, um, but as a player, as a kicker, you, you know, you thrive for those moments. They're the moments you want. And, um, you know, I'm, I've said to people before, I'm probably lucky that I went through that moment in Italy. I think it's, you know, made me grow as a player and as a person. So, um, yeah, you know, we do a lot of work throughout the week, um, put ourselves in moments as kickers. And um, so when we come to the game, we're ready for it. And, um, yeah, obviously I was nervous, but, um, yeah, I was ready for that moment. And, um, yeah, grateful it went over. And last one for me, you guys must be desperate for some dry weather so you can kind of, <laughs> I don't know, put a few different plays, I suppose, in terms, especially in the back line and that, because you've pretty much had a had a wet trap for a while there, hey? Yeah, especially as backs, you know, we've had some, you know, set plays there for a while, but we haven't really um, got to get, get through many of them. Um, obviously with the weather, Perth was um, pretty horrendous weather, as, as was um, the other night. So 
hopefully this week, I think it's an afternoon game, um, hopefully some nice weather and um, we can showcase our skills. And um, But then off the back of that, you know, Argentina have some silky backs as well. So um, we're going to have to be on our, on our toes to, um, yeah, go toe to toe with them. But yeah, it is exciting and hopefully we can uh, play some good footy. Hey Matt, are you able to um, comment on slips? Uh, it's likely you'll you'll equal George's record this weekend, I imagine. Um, just commented on on what his influence is like in the group, and is, if there's any individual or anecdotes that you can share. Um, individually, nothing's really coming to mind as such. But um, he's just that calm, older head, really experienced. There's pretty much um, nothing that uh, hasn't happened to him in a game or something that. Um, one of one of us younger guys wants to know about, um, but yeah, it, it, like his his experience and his wealth of knowledge, and then um, he, and he's really happy to share that. So uh, last year, before some of those um, camps, I think it was the first camp I was going into. The night before camp, he gave me a buzz just to see how I was feeling, um, what to sort of expect, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it, he looks after the younger boys, but also is pretty happy to give them a tap when they're. Uh, not doing the right thing or whatever. Um, and yeah, he loves it, Joe, keeps a light hearted, yeah. Uh, can't speak highly enough of him. And um, if, if that goes on to happen, I'm not too sure what's happening with the team, but um, if that goes on to happen, uh, I, I'm stoked for him personally. And I'm certain that the rest of the team, coaches and staff included, will be super happy for him. He's been awesome for Australian rugby over the years. So I think he debuted for the Wallabies before Instagram was invented. So, but anyway, um, but yeah, stoked. Yes. Anything else online, guys? Can I ask you a question, please, uh, yeah, sure, I'm, mate. No I'm problem. Sorry, my video, my video is not working. Um, for both of you, do you, do you feel it's a bit of a turning point now? This win. You want it? Um, turning point. Yeah, hard to say. To be honest, um, you know, it's just a win. Um, you know, we've obviously didn't get a win against the Springboks, um, but like I said before, any any win away from home is massive, um, especially against Argentina. You know, the crowd was pretty hostile, the weather conditions were tough, um, but the boys put in a great shift. So, um, turning point, um, yeah, not too sure, but we're definitely going to take some um, confidence out of that game and momentum and uh, springboard into this week and then into the two All Black games. Um, because yeah, you know, like like I said, any any win away from home is is, is a massive um, achievement. Yes, thanks. Thanks, guys. This is, uh, we've had a, a local join us in the room. Someone has come to joke with you. There's anything? We've got a couple more minutes. Okay. So you mentioned that now in the springboard into the week. How is the mood? I know it's early days in the week, but how is the mood different after a win compared to the previous couple of weeks? Well, I think there's just you know, obviously boys are a bit more happier. You know. Straight away, you're in the sheds, you know, boys are having a beer, there's a bit of music. Um, it's obviously very different to when you lose, you know, there's no music, there's not many smiles around. So, um, yeah, you know, boys, it's just a good vibe around the group. Like Fez said yesterday, boys are all, you know, going out for lunch, getting around each other. Um, it always makes review easier as well when you win. Um, but again, you know, we've got a long way to go, probably weren't at our best again on the weekend. Um, so, yeah, wins are nice, but um, yeah, this week's going to be massive for us as well. Argentina tend to be pretty inconsistent. I think they were pretty good on the weekend, and you guys you know, did well to win. But what kind of a response are you expecting next weekend, especially given the, the disappointment here about failing to get the win in previous last game? Any team that can put 38 points on the All Blacks, I think, has some good games in them, mate. So um, I, I think we're going to have to be at our best this weekend to beat them in Santa Fe. Um, yeah, that, that were physical, bounce of the ball, anything could have happened in that wet weather. Um, they're a very good team. We'll have to review hard, preview hard, and um, put our best foot forward to what will be another physical, very challenging game for us, I think. Just one more for Ben. When a game ends like that with a last minute penalty, sometimes it's all the people in the media and the fans want to talk about. Do you guys as a group find that kind of frustrating? Would you rather the conversation was on how you guys came back into the game and came from behind, or does it not bother you? Yeah, um, I know, you know, most boys probably don't read into the media too much, but. Um, I don't think we'll probably even, you know, mention that last minute penalty. Um, yeah, it's nice to kick it and nice to get the win, but like you said, the boys, you know, set the foundation, set the platform for the first 77 minutes. Um, you know, the forwards were immense, their defence, um, some of their carries throughout the game, the set pace in that weather was awesome. So, 
Um, yeah, there's a lot that we will break down in review, and most of that will be you know prior to that last minute penalty. Um, but yeah.